Hi guys, unfortunately our camera hasn't been working recently, so we won't be able to bring you actual footage from our game against Totten, so instead we will be doing an audio summary of the game. We're hoping this back to normal highlights next week, but sorry for the current inconvenience. But now looking ahead at this game, it was always going to be a big derby. Coming off of consecutive wins, a win for the host would have helped elevate Totten into the playoff positions, and as for Gosport we were hoping to widen the gap between Totten and close the one between Salisbury and Merthyr. Borough got off to a great start as Bissari did well to pick out Wooden who went for a spectacular effort on goal but ended up smashing a shot over the Totten bar. Returning back from injury, Williams was the first player to go in the rest book after a late challenge on Magri. Totten were given a free kick in a dangerous position but in the end the hosts were unable to do anything with it. On the 26th minute, a similar incident happened against Totten after Osler brought down Wooden just outside of the penalty area. Tarbot took the set piece, but drilled one straight into the four-man wall. It was end-to-end -end football as two minutes later, Raggett was played through on goal. Dragging a shot along the face of goal, the effort narrowly went wide in what should have seen the opening goal. Straight after that, Worthen Loney Luca nearly got his first totting goal, but Stewart ended up denying him from close range. But it was only until the 35th minute when the deadlock was finally broken. It was the set pieces causing the damage again, as Kavanaugh played a lovely corner into an unmarked Dan Wooden, who headed it in from close range to give Burrow the lead. The half-time whistle shortly followed, with this goal meaning Gosport would lead 1-0 at the break. I think many fans around the stadium thought Tottenham found their equaliser, as Luca drilled one into the side net and three minutes into the second half. Instead, their equaliser came 10 minutes later, when Magri from 30 yards teed up a shot and unleashed a shot which ran past Stewart and levelled the score. Stewart redeemed himself on the 68th minute, when Luca dispatched a through ball into Rendell with a skipper taking a shot forcing Stewart to tip it out for a corner. Toby was needed again minutes later when Chidozi had a crack at goal. Stewart needed to throw himself in front of the shot before Morrison could eventually head it out for another corner. On the 82nd minute, Diaz from the halfway line played a diagonal pass across to Ramos, however Ramos sent an effort just wide. The last couple of minutes saw multiple shots from Lucius Vine, with the last seen Vine head wide from inside the Totten box, with the game finally concluding AFC Totten 1. Gosport won. Considering our form against Totten in the past, I would definitely say it's a point gained rather than two dropped. Unfortunately, the teams above us all got wins, adding extra pressure to this title race. And next week, we've got a massive game against Merthyr at the AEI Stadium. So we'll see you then. But final words from me, up the borough.